My question to the board is how does the allocation of funds designated specifically for low-income foster youth and English learners towards an increase in proctors around school and more security like um, officers specifically improve the academics performance of these students? Previously, I attended an LCAP meeting in PUSD where funds were discussed, and when I asked about the student survey conducted by PUSD months prior, I asked if um, students directly were asking for more security and for more proctors on campus, and if that was something that was asked. My question wasn't directly answered, and I come to question the implementation of these officers and how that helps students academically in their present and future lives. Being a student of PUSD, and I am a product of a PUSD, I've been in the P um, district since I was three years old, um, I believe the key to improving the lives of our students begins in improving mental health services and others, um, and more to see where the student struggles. The implementation of further proctors would be for all students, not simply the ones marked, which views as a misuse of funds like the printing incident, and are only supposed to be used for such students. I come to ask um, for a stop for what I believe will not directly benefit all students because it's marked for all students. Well, it's technically helping all students, but they're only marking it for English learners, foster youth, and, um, and uh, one second, sorry, and other students, which is my question how, why is it marked only for specific students if it's supposed, if it's going to help all students? Thank you.